Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Aquarius, Moon, and Aquarius Rising. Also, if you have a Venus, Mars, or Jupiter in Aquarius, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. For some of you out there, the Mars is more towards, um, I want to say like money and ambition and all of that. So, for those of you Aquarians out there that are interested in that portion of it, if you have a Jup or if you have a Mars in Aquarius, you definitely may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your ambition and your work life. All right, guys, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. If you do subscribe, please make sure that you click on that notification button. And when you click on the bell, please make sure that it's like activated, like it's wiggling so that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. This reading is for July and August of 2019. I'm using the Rider White deck for July, and I'm using the um, Witches Oracle for the month of August. So guys, let's just take a look here. What is the energy for my beautiful Aquarians for the month of July of 2019? Please come through the filter of love, light, and absolute truth for the Aquarians. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to cut the deck, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, what do we have going on as it relates to your general energies for the month of July of 2019? You do have the Two of Pentacles. What is your work life and financial life? The Page of Swords. What is your emotional life and your love life? The Ten of Wands. And what is your health and your well-being? The Four of Pentacles. Whoa, what is going on here, Aquarius? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a pause. You know, Aquarius, there could be something coming into your life that makes you kind of like take a step back and pause. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, excuse me, what, you know? So that could be coming in for whatever reason, Aquarius. Uh, let's get started. I feel, I feel like I'm confused yet I also feel like I was, I've been like waiting for this information to come through. It's like, I knew this information was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to come in this particular way. This, this is just, this is, this is, I'm, I'm channeling you right now. So this is what's coming up. So let's go ahead and get into the general energy. So the general energy Aquarius is the two of pentacles. So you might be juggling two different jobs. Um, there might be something going on here regarding juggling some things in your life so that you make sure you don't drop the ball on something that could certainly be coming up here as well. For others of you out there, you might be um, entertaining people. Other people might be entertaining you. But there is some level, Aquarius, of like undulating energy that there is something underneath the surface that is causing a level of stress or a level of I really don't know how to deal with this. I don't really know how to handle this energy. So I'm going to put a smile on my face and pretend nothing ever happened. Um, that could be going on, Aquarius. It's almost like you're flabbergasted by something. And you're surprised. It's not bad and it's not good. It's simply surprised. Very interesting energy in July. So um, as it relates to your work life and financial life, um, you do have the page of uh, swords. The page of swords could be a child, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarian person. This could also be you as the Aquarian in your work life and financial life. It doesn't have to be a child, it could be a person. So there is something about news coming out regarding your finances and your work life and your financial life. There could be a change going on with your work life and financial life. There could be gossip at work. There could be gossip in 
um, gossip or some sort of change happening relative to your finances. And Aquarius, were you cut off? Or did you cut somebody off? Aquarius, you may have cut somebody off or somebody may have cut you off from some sort of financial pipeline, right? So something's coming up here. Oh, my mother's an Aquarius. Um, this may have something to do with some of you out there relative to um, needing to pay a medical bill. Maybe you thought it was covered and it wasn't covered that could be going on. So now you've got to like juggle finances or for some of you out there, maybe you've got a lot of things happening in the month of July where you're having to negotiate finances. Maybe you've got a lot of birthdays coming up or maybe you've got a lot of, you know, um, get togethers coming up that are causing you to, you know, take money out of your coffer to pay for something. Maybe you promised somebody something or you feel obligated to someone regarding uh, finances as well. Um, but there is news, there's absolute news coming in. For some of you Aquarians out there, if you were um, trying to get into a job or you were trying to get a job, you could be the finalist between one of two different people or one of four different people. So you have to come back for the second interview before they can go ahead and make their decision. That could be going on for some of you Aquarians out there or a deal or a client business relationship. You know, maybe maybe you're a consultant or maybe you're a client and you're, tr you're trying to get somebody's business and they're like, it's between you and somebody else. So this could be that energy that's coming up here. But children for some reason are affecting your finances and your, your career for some reason, Aquarius. Maybe, maybe you volunteered or maybe something happened to children or even grandchildren where you have to watch them or you have to take care of them. But the thing about it is, Aquarius, it's like you're feeling overburdened right now. So maybe you need to say no. Maybe you need to say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to have to say that, um, you know, I can't, I can't handle providing you with all these finances, you're going to have to learn how to stand on your own. Or you're going to have to go to somebody else to provide you with the with the support that you need is it, it's just what's coming up here. I, I it's it's really interesting. So what's going on with your emotional life and love life, with your emotional life and love life, you have a 10 of wands. So as it relates to the 10 of wands, um, Aquarius, something has happened where now you have to take on more responsibility or this could also be Aquarius for some of you. You've been taking on responsibility that wasn't your responsibility to, to have to be responsible for. So now you're ready to let it go. You're ready to stop juggling. You're ready to say, you know what? I've helped you. I've been there for you. I've given you what I can give you. And now I am going to tell you once I'm done with this last thing, you are on your own. And this is what is coming up, Aquarius, because your energy is more important, right? Your energy, your health, your well-being, your mental state is more important than making sure that someone stays enabled based off of your hard work, your blood, your sweat, and your tears. And this can be in a, um, in a loving and happy bond, a loving and happy relationship. Maybe you're making your spouse or your significant others, maybe an ex, maybe you're making them stand on their own two feet saying, you know, I'm not going to be there for you anymore. If you're, you know, um, I'm just not, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to stop enabling you. Or maybe they're saying that to you, Aquarius, but that's happening now for some of Aquarians out there. You're moving. You're absolutely moving. You know, you could be moving from a place that's by the ocean to a more, um, metropolitan area okay so that's um more in the middle of the city you know is what i'm getting here but so what do we have going on as it relates to your health and well-being you do have the four of pentacles so 
For some of you Aquarians out there, you might be having some issues with constipation. You might be having some issues with circulation, maybe migraines, headaches. Maybe some of you have heart palpitations. I certainly hope that you don't. Um, but what's going on here is that right now it feels like you're trying to keep yourself away from too much activity so that you can heal yourself, so that you can rest and recuperate. Because maybe you've been doing too much Aquarius. Maybe you need to just take a break and you need to rest. And this is what is very important for a lot of you Aquarians out there. Let me see what I'm getting for the downloads Aquarius for the month of July, the psychic downloads. Hmm. Wow, Aquarius, somebody's a snake in the grass. I'm just letting you know right now, there's a snake in the grass. Be aware, someone may not have your best interests at heart or someone may be getting ready to cut you off or you know, someone that you love, someone that you care for, someone that you, you want to support and protect. There's someone around you that's, or someone around them that's a real snake in the grass and you're trying to warn people, you know, I told you this was gonna, you need to get out of this situation. Um, Aquarius, that could be coming up for some of you. Let's see what else is going on. Aquarius, I'm sensing for a lot of you out there, you're trying to break out of a cycle. You're trying to break out of a cycle. It's like, it's like you don't, you have no longer have the energy to deal with other people's drama. You're trying to get out of the cycle now. And that's what's most important for a lot of you Aquarians out there. All right. So let's go ahead and let's move into the month of August, Aquarius. What's going on with the month of August of 2019 for you, Aquarius? What's going on? You're done carrying other people's burdens, Aquarius. It's like, you know what? I got to take care of me. And, th and th that's just what I'm getting here. Absolutely. So Aquarius, what is happening here? What is happening? I'm going to cut the deck for the month of August of 2019, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, for your general energies for the month of August, you have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. And as it relates to your work life and financial life, you have the emperor. And for emotional life and love life, you have the nine of wands. And for your health and your well-being, you have the three of wands. Oh, Aquarians, if you broke up with someone, okay, Aquarians, if you broke up with someone, you separated from someone, you divorced someone, whatever, it could be Aquarians, it could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a an Aries person that you broke up with, they, they are now with someone else is what I'm getting here. You're finding this out possibly in the month of July, but you may find out about it in the month of August as well. If you do find out about it in July, you find out about it from your child. Your child is telling you like, you know, daddy or mommy, they're seeing somebody else now. And it feels Aquarius like Now, let me be honest, for some of you Aquarians out there, if you are dating, if you're dating a Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries person, you are the one that is very much in love with this person. Absolutely. Aquarius. For some of you Aquarians in a happy and loving bond, your significant other might be a little bit frisky in the month of August. I just want to make you aware of that because um, there there are two um, there are two 
particular signs or two particular aces that represent the masculine, and that's the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Those are phallic symbols. Um, the uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups are the feminine symbols. And so those are the, those are the receptacles. Uh, the, for example, the Ace of Pentacles can represent, um, you know, the egg, right? And then the cup represents the uterus, the uterine, the, 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 you know, the female uh, side of, you know, the, the, the physical aspects. But when you've got the sword and you've got the wand, you've got phallic symbols. So you have the ace of wands um, in your general energies, Aquarius, for the month of August. So you might be getting um, very frisky. And honestly, it doesn't even matter how old you are. It's almost like someone, this is, this is a sexual, you know, sexual energy, uh, passion energy, uh, wanting to, you know, create, wanting to get the green light, wanting to go, wanting to move. And what I'm sensing, Aquarians, is maybe you had a decision to make in the month of July, but now you've made your decision in the month of August and you're moving towards passion, love, kindness, and you're really moving forward with sexual energy in the month of August for whatever reason, but it is certainly coming up here. All right, Aquarius, absolutely. Uh, new endeavors, new entrepreneurial ventures, transformation, great growth that is going on here in the month of August. So as we move into work life and financial life, you do have the emperor. So as it relates to the emperor, uh, you might be dealing with um, a gossipy boss or if you're the boss, uh, Aquarius, please do not gossip. Very important. For others of you Aquarians out there, maybe you are putting yourself in the position of the boss. You are saying my way or the highway. All right. This is definitely coming up here, Aquarius. Um, you are overseeing your family for whatever reason. And there could be a lot of discussion within the family regarding a Capricorn a Taurus or an Aries person in the family. So that is definitely coming up here. And it feels to me like whoever this emperor energy is, they've made a decision and they're not going to waver on it. It's done. It's a done deal. This is how it's going to be. I have spoken. Okay. Now this could be you Aquarius or it could be somebody else. So what do we have going on as it relates? And some of you Aquarians might even be getting a promotion in um, the month of August or a big client where you feel like you're kind of like the top dog, right? Or someone here feels like they're the top dog. So what's going on with emotional life and love life? You have the nine of wands. So basically what's going on Aquarius here is that someone is somewhat defensive or someone is trying to defend something. Someone's trying to protect something. Someone is not letting something get the better of them. And so this is that energy. So I am sensing for a lot of you Aquarians out there that perhaps either you or someone around you was carrying this massive burden and they decided, you know what? I'm dropping it. I'm no longer going to allow myself to carry these burdens. I'm going back to square one. Here's my one wand. This is what I want. And now whoever had that dumped on them, right, because of the fact that it was put on them without their appropriate, um, without fairness or maybe through guilt or something like that. Now you're going from 10 wands to nine wands, you see? So someone here decided to take one of the wands out of the 10, start their new beginning, and now someone else is left with the Nine of Wands. This is what I'm getting. I don't know how this is making sense for you, Aquarius, but that's what's coming up here. And then we have the Three of Wands for your health and your well-being. So as it relates to the Three of Wands, this could be where maybe you were not getting the answers you needed from your provider, from a physician, from a doctor, whatever, practitioner, and you have decided to... Um, You've decided to get a second opinion or even a third opinion 
with someone else. And you may be considering that, you know what, if you want to take this one wand, or if I took this one wand and I'm starting my new beginning, then what's left over are these three wands from the 10 wands, right? Okay, so now you've got, you've got, you've got so many wands. You've got four wands, three wands, one wand, that's four wands. You have the 10 wands here. 10 minus four is six. And the six of wands is great victory. So somebody in this dynamic wants great victory with their health, with their love life, their emotional life, or their financial life. And the thing is, is I think for some of you Aquarians out there, you are going through and you're taking out which wands serve you, the six wands that serve you, and you're getting rid of all of the rest. They're going someplace else. And that is what I am picking up here. Now, Aquarius, let me see if I can get something going on as far as psychic downloads for you for the month of August. Wow. Um, Aquarius, there's something about mice or rodents that is of great significance to you. Uh, maybe for some of you Aquarians, you were born in the year of the rat. Um, that could be happening. Um, or someone of great significance around you was born in the year of the rat. So please be aware of that. I'm just going to put it up there. Uh, let me see what else I'm getting. Maybe you have a, a mouse. Maybe they're like, maybe you found a mouse or something like that, or somebody's being really mousy, or perhaps you're looking at your hair, Aquarius. You're like, oh, my hair is like, it's got this mousy type of color to it. I want to brighten it up a little bit. And maybe you're doing something with your hair, but let's see what else is going on here, Aquarius, for you for a uh, psychic downloads. Yeah, Aquarius, it's coming up again. Um, someone has been carrying someone else's burdens and it's over. So I just want to let you know that. And um, someone is saying enough is enough. I'm out of here. So that is what is coming up, Aquarius. I truly do hope that you like this reading. Please consider getting a subscription to my website to access all of the extended readings for this month. Cancel anytime you like. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.